Hey everyone, it's up North Collectors here. We're opening up 2023 Top Series 2 Baseball. This time we have value packs. These are retail value packs. You get 36 cards in each one of these. I got these off of walmart.com. I think they were $15.98 for two packs. So not too bad. I know Meyer has these, I think, around 10 bucks roughly when they come out um, at Meyer, or nine bucks. So I think $7 or just over that is about the going rate on the marketplace, but you let me know uh, what you think. So you get, before I open it, actually you get 36 cards in here, a uh, chance at all the good stuff. Uh, here are some of the things that you, oh no, I take that back. They don't have odds on the back anymore. I thought for a second these were odds, but no. No purchase necessary. Open to US and Canadian except Quebec residents. Sorry if you live in Quebec and you're watching this, you cannot participate in whatever Tops is giving away. All right, let's get into it. The retail has been really good out of Series 2 baseball. You get 36 cards in here. Some are saying these value packs are the way to go. Uh, I know Striker Breaks did a case of these and did really well. Uh, in the past, these have been a really good option. In fact, in Series 1, they weren't bad either. Uh, although Series 1 is just so watered down, it's hard to get anything out of retail. Uh, but for your money, they may not have been, or they may not be too bad of an option. But uh, Series 2 seems to be a lot better for retail from what I've opened up overall. I'm, yeah, very happy with what I've seen so far. So let's see if we can get anything out of these value packs. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, are these a good value? Right away, we have a card number to 299. So that is not a bad start. Uh, I'm already thinking these might be pretty good. Uh, let's see, who is it? Oh, Michael Taylor, number to 299. So it's going to be one of the foil, colored foils, I believe. And, yep, orange foil, uh, Michael Taylor. And then behind that, we have a Shohei Otani. Um, this is the World Baseball Classic. And then you get a few of the stars of the MLB in here. So that was a pretty good start. A one numbered card already off of pack number one, although it wasn't a huge name um, or a rookie. It was still uh, pretty nice to see that. There we have an Anthony Volpe rookie card, followed by Mr. Bryce Trang. Um, and we have some of our horizontal landscape cards there. All kind of mixed in. I still don't have any clue as to why they are all turned over, flipped around, upside down. There he is, Oswald Cabrera. I mean, if these two Yankees even took off out of this class, it'd be huge. Um, you have Oswald Cabrera and Volpe. Um, I know Volpe coming into the season was all hype uh, and all hyped up. And, you know, I don't think he's done horrible, but he hasn't been, um, you know, the all time superstar. No Ellie De La Cruz uh, by that measure. We had a guy come in the shop today talking about Ellie De La Cruz and how he made some amazing uh, play yesterday. Or not play, I should say. He ran right after he hit the ball to first base. First baseman kind of made a diving stop, uh, outran the, the play to first base. I mean, that's just fun when you have young players showing all kinds of hustle and a lot of you know multi-talented, multi-tool players out there. Uh, these young guys, but they're really trying hard. It kind of reminds me when um, Fernando Tatis appeared on the scene and he had those amazing slides and, you know, just a lot of excitement. Uh, uh, Acuna, kind of the same way. Uh, a lot of speed, a lot of power, a lot of just, you know, showmanship, I guess, in a good way. So I think it makes baseball that much more enjoyable, in my opinion. All right, let's see what we get out of this one. Uh, do we have a numbered card? Do we have anything? Mm, no, just a chrome here, but maybe there's something hiding behind the chrome. All right, um, Spencer Steer. Steer. Uh, I don't know anything about him. Anybody know anything about him? Maybe, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't, uh, but reds are definitely hot, and this is not a bad one. Francisco Alvarez, chrome, uh, one of the top probably three, four prospects in uh, Series 2. Uh, definitely people have high expectations for Alvarez. All right, some more of our landscape cards. Some of these landscape cards definitely have cool photos like this Nico Horner. That's a sweet shot. But landscape cards, just not my favorite. All right, let's see what we have here. There's another Oswald Cabrera. So rookie cards are coming out of here left and right. And we have 
Charles. Well, we're looking for um, some of the other big names here, like Colas for uh, the White Sox. We have, uh, what's his name, for the Arizona Diamondbacks, uh, Corbin Carroll. He's definitely one of the top guys out of here. Um, and there's quite a few others as well. So let's see who we can pull out of here. Uh, Diaz for the Dodgers. Anytime you get a Dodgers prospect. Um, but this card I saw this morning, is that the funniest pitcher on the bottom of the card that is out there in Series 2? I think it might be. Uh, Kerry Carpenter is very happy there. Now here, he's like, Man, I just smoked that ball, and I got a lot of something in my mouth. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I, I uh, do love to look actually at the cards, and it is funny. Look, look at here. Will Smith, uh, my eyes are barely open, but thank you so much for taking a picture of me, Mr. or Miss Photographer. And uh, here, nice action shot. So I don't know where they get these bottom pictures from, but some of them are pretty funny. Um, yeah, take a look at your cards and see what you think. Tell me if you have a favorite um, <laughs> pose of one of these. Uh, here's a, here's a one, too. He's looking off the camera a little bit, and this one he's just like, you know, ecstatic about whatever just happened on the field. All right, so we have Mr. P.J. Higgins, Rainbow Foil. Yes, Rainbow Foil. All right, and then we have a Greg Maddox. These are the legends of the game. These seem to come in retail like crazy. I don't know. They're harder to pull in hobby than they are in retail, which is weird. So if you're looking to complete the legends of the game set, definitely buy some retail. All right. Um, come unstuck, Mr. Card. All right, there we go. So we have two of the stars of the MLB. One is Michael Harris. And the other one was Jacob DeGrom, who I think is definitely, well, I know he's injured, but I'm pretty sure he's out for the season. There's a Will Benson. Man, the Reds have a ton of rookies in the set, which is cool. And there's Yoshida. He's definitely a uh, really hot rookie for the Red Sox, although he's a little bit older, but still, it's always awesome to see some of these Japanese Asian players come over and do really well. All right, guys, if you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, definitely having a little bit of fun with this video and taking my time, not in a real rush, to get through it, enjoying looking at the cards and trying to see what we can pull out of these value packs. So far, I'm pretty pleased with them. Haven't had anything huge, but um, yeah, would I buy two of these or would I buy one hanger box? Probably one hanger box, but let's let's uh, wait till we open up the rest of this pack and see what we get here. We have a blue. Um, this is Whit Merrifield, now, of course, on the Toronto Blue Jays, and Harry Ford. Now, is Harry, was it Harry Ford? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't think it was Harry Ford. Some guy, I think, just got called up. Maybe it was a Ford, but it wasn't Harry Ford. Anyways, I don't know. Um, sorry for the bad information. Uh, just looking at Twitter the other day. I get a lot of my information from Twitter, from MLB.com, from all sorts of places, uh, YouTube, wherever. And so the information sometimes gets mixed up in my head. Uh, like, you know, any else that happens to old people like myself all right guys well there we go we got a few decent cards out of the value packs i won't say anything crazy um i'm gonna open up a few more hanger boxes that i have coming in and so i'll probably open up those on the channel see if we can do as well as we did the last time um, and compare them with the others uh, so definitely be open up more series two i think retail is a really good buy with series two and it's a lot of fun i love all the rookies in here and i just like the set i like the inserts i like the world baseball classic inserts um and uh, I do like these Legends of the Game inserts. And so, yeah, I think it's the set's very well done uh, and very affordable. And with the chance of getting more numbered cards out of retail, it just makes it a, a fun chase. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Did you open up value packs? What did you pull? We'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Have fun collecting and enjoy the summer. Get outside and have some fun. See you soon.